the following is an absolute value inequality. Uh, it's solved similarly to the one that was greater than, but you notice this is the absolute value less than. So again, you drop the absolute value and you write one inequality uh, without the absolute value. It looks the exact same. And then you have to write a second inequality where you change the direction of the sign and you change the sign of the number. So the 12 becomes a negative 12. Uh, you have to do both of these. Uh, when you solve the two inequalities separately, uh, they, they're solved very similarly. In this case, we added 6 to get rid of the negative 6. It gave us 3x less than or equal to 18. Then we have to divide both sides by 3 to get x less than or equal to 6. We go solve the other one. Again, we're going to add 6 to both sides, uh, giving us 3x greater than or equal to a negative 6. Divide by 3, and we have negative 2. Again, because this was a less than or equal to, it's an and inequality. Thus, what we're looking for is all the numbers uh, that are less than or equal to 6 and greater than or equal to negative 2. So we plot both of those points as cutoff points, the negative 2. It's going to be a closed circle at negative 2 and a closed circle at 6. And then it's going to be all the numbers in between because it has to be both less than 6 and greater than negative 2. So our solution set is all the numbers in between those two.